Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for September. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is being recorded in August, but in reality it's for September. So before I started this reading I was sitting here and you know going through what I do and uh, so I've seen all kinds of things of course and um, so the first thing I saw was the chariot, something happening very, very quickly, moving forward. You could have a cancer coming into your life very quickly. I'm not sure if you do or not, but whatever is happening, you are in the driver's seat, okay? You're in the driver's seat. You're moving forward very, very quickly. I see you facing some sort of opposition, though, however, but mastering your emotions quite well. Um, wherever you're headed, you're headed towards victory. You're headed towards some sort of triumph, okay? Some sort of victory. Um, I see you finding some sort of discipline with the chariot. There's some sort of need to be disciplined to face opposition. Then I saw the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is emotional disappointment. So maybe you're leaving that behind. Maybe you're leaving behind that emotional disappointment, going after that Nine of Cups, right? Um, I also saw the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is good news, okay? Good news arriving. You could be receiving an invitation from somebody, or a new exciting opportunity may be opening up. Um, be careful not to get distracted. You could be receiving a very positive message from somebody, a, a message that you didn't expect. All of a sudden, you know, this message comes and it opens up something for you and it really excites you. I saw the King of Wands and the King of Cups back to back. So I don't know if this is one person or two people. King of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The King of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be one person that comes into your life very, very quickly, okay? This person is very um, enthusiastic. This person is ready for a relationship. This person may want a relationship. They may be in a hurry for a relationship. You know, they just may become charging right in, you know, to try to sweep you off your feet, romance you. You know, that could be the case. Could be two different people as well. I'm not sure. Um, the, the King of Wands can also be you deciding to, you know, be your own boss again with the chariot. That is taking the reins, taking the lead. So some of you may be, you know, starting your own business or, or stepping it up a notch, getting creative, coming up with a new vision, you know, a new way to create something. Um, what else? What else do we have for Taurus? Um, <laughs> investment, investment, time, um, because I see the seven of pentacles. Um, is it worth it? Is it some, is something worth it? You may be thinking about relocating. Aha. That's exactly because, because the chariot is relocating as well. Now this could be relocating yourself or relocating your business or relocating yourself from a job, relocating yourself from a partnership, you know, that is relocating. So, um, you're, I think you're going to receive some unexpected opportunity that gives you the op an opportunity to leave because with the chariot and the eight of cups to leave something, um, Taurus, Taurus, what do we have for September? The hermit. This is a card of enlightenment. It's seeing the light. It's it's going down a new path. We have a lot of uh, spiritual wisdom here. This is a Jesus consciousness. You may be dealing with a Virgo. This could be you taking on this energy, uh, going through some sort of awakening. Maybe you're deepening your practice this month. And um, that's going to allow you to head towards victory and success. Um, this is a time of introspection. It's a time of solitude and reflection. So this month you may be taking a time out away from the world to plan, to plan your um, future. Um, looks to me as though you've got some sort of vision though. You, you, you probably see something. You probably know it's time. It is time. You may be deciding to go your own way. Um, maybe maybe you're deciding to come out of hiding. Maybe you're going to go in hiding. Could go either way. Or you're coming out of hiding. This could go either way. Um, but I really feel like we have this newfound self-awareness. I think that you guys are basically becoming more awakened. Um, let's see if we can throw some of these cards around. Um, 
the Empress reversed. The Empress reversed. Woo! So you guys may be feeling a little selfish. Maybe you need to be selfish. Maybe you need to, maybe you need to take care of yourself. Maybe you haven't been. Maybe you haven't been nurturing yourself. Maybe you haven't been taking care of yourself. Maybe you don't know your worth. Maybe you don't know your value. It could be an emotional time. There could be some sort of loss. Um, oh my God, the hair font reversed. <sighs> a loss of a commitment, maybe. Um, a lack of faith. A lack of faith and commitment. Maybe you're not even looking for a commitment. Maybe you have some healing that needs to be done. This is healing, and healing needs to be done. That is the King of Swords. The moon. Oh my goodness. Right. There's something that you don't see. There is something that you don't see here. There's something that is hidden. That is going to be revealed. A decision is being made. A decision is going to be made. This is a decision that's going to be firm. It's going to, somebody is a permanent decision is going to be made. Huh. Oh, Queen of Swords reversed. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Oh. The Wheel of Fortune. It, on the upright. Two of Wands. Moment of decision. Ace of Swords reversed. King of Pentacles. And the Star card. A wish being granted. So, this is a wish, wish being granted. King of Cups on the bottom. So, <clears throat> Taurus, your challenge is is getting over some sort of bitterness. This is the Queen of Cup, Queen of Swords in reverse. This is in your challenge position, and this is selfishness. This is selfishness as well. So you know, there's bitterness, there's resent, anger. Non-communicative. You may not want to communicate with anybody this month. You may not. You may be like, you know what? I don't have faith in humanity. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I feel like you're probably going to be working on your business, working on your job, working on your money, working working on your finances, working on working on your fortune, the wheel of fortune right now, right now and in, in September. This is in the middle. This is your right now. Right now you are going to be changing your direction. And I feel like you you're going to make a decision, you're going to stick to it. It's like nobody can change your mind. I feel like you are going to cut communication. You may come cut communication with the outside world. I'm not kidding. You may decide, you know, you're bitter. You may be holding on to some sort of bitterness. You may be like, you know what, I don't, I don't even have any faith. I don't have any compassion right now. Only for myself. I need to take care of myself. You may feel lonely and, and bitter and I just want to be alone. And that's a normal feeling. We all go through that. I feel like you are making some sort of decision. I think that you're at this crossroads and I think that you are going to make the decision. And I think that you're about to step into unknown territory in the future. And I feel like you're ready to face your fears. I feel like right now, externally, it's all about getting the money. It's about getting the finances, getting yourself ready and, and having that um, cushion to to go wherever it is that you're planning on going. Um this this right here in your approach this this is it's a time of inspiration it's a time of you know making that wish and creating it going after your dreams following your dreams so i think that right now you are you are destined 
to basically go in another direction. This is the wheel of destiny. It's the wheel of fate. It's spinning. It's like something is changing for you. It's meant to be. It's, this is meant to be. I think that you are being divinely guided that it's time for a change. It's time for you to um, cross that bridge. This is the two of wands. It's time for you to step into the unknown territory. So I think this is a month of you making that decision. And it's like nobody can change your mind. I feel like um, you're probably not going to want to communicate. You're not going to want to tell people, you know, what's going on. You're probably going to keep it to yourself. You're you're deepening your practice. You are um, you're changing your destination. And I feel like it's time. I feel like it's meant to be. I feel like this is an opportunity. I think that you will be shining very, very brightly. Um, Knight of Cups course i feel like you you you're you're probably going to receive an opportunity somebody will probably you know approach you with some opportunity for love and you might be like i you know you know this is the two of swords somebody is probably going to come towards you with some sort of i mean opportunity for love this two of swords and you're probably going to have to make a painful stressful decision and you may want to you know you may want them to, um, you may talk to this person, you may, you may try to barter with them, you may try to, um, get them to listen to you, but I think that deep down you're just looking to get the justice that you deserve. Uh, you know, I just really feel as though, oh, maybe that's what the bitterness is. We have some bitterness over a relationship that really hurt you and hurt the people that you care about. You may be putting that burden down. You may be I think that you're going to be deciding you're going to be deciding to I don't know. It feels like you want to hurt this person. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. It feels like you want to hurt this. You're very bitter. I see bitterness here. It feels like you want to hurt this person that, you know, swept you off your feet and, and lied to you. I think that you have been really deceived by another person. And I think that maybe you're going to put that, that, um, sword down. You know, you're going to put that bitterness away. Hopefully that's what you're going to do. Hopefully that's what you're going to do. Um, nine of swords. Yeah, this is the death. This is the death of it. It's the end of it. It's the end of that bitterness. So maybe this is the time where you go within and you decide to forgive and make peace with this bitter situation that has caused you so much despair. I really feel like... You may have an opportunity to bring closure to a situation with somebody this month, somebody that hurt you. There could be, you know, this is this is like a death. This is like a saying goodbye to a painful situation. It is. So I feel like this is a month of accepting and saying goodbye and, and deciding to put that uh, burden away, perhaps. That's what I think it is. This is the page of swords. Somebody is watching. Somebody is watching. Somebody is, 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 it's like you have somebody that is watching you. Somebody is watching you, Taurus. Somebody is watching you. They are watching you. Be happy. And they're jealous. Somebody is very, very jealous of you. Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody is very jealous of you. They've caused you a lot of pain. They have caused somebody, I think it's a water sign, okay, with that with that Knight of Cups under there. It could be a water sign, could be a, a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody has really, 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 really hurt you to the point of no return. And the, I think that you've gotten to the point where 
you know, you're, you haven't been able to heal yet. You haven't been able to heal. And I think this is a time of healing. So I think this is a month of perhaps, you know, <laughs> dealing with some sort of pain. I mean, this is painful. This is a loss. This is a lost loss. The Ace of Pentacles reverse. You're going to experience some sort of loss. And I think that it's going to be painful. It could be painful acceptance. And this has been not accepting. Painfully accepting that there's no commitment. There's no renewal. There's no rebirth. There's no, you know, going back. It's over. It's done. It's, it's dead. Okay? So I feel like this is a, a month of, you know, accepting some sort of loss. Acceptance. six of wands but you're headed towards victory you're headed towards victory you're headed towards success this is being recognized public recognition you may be getting some sort of public re recognition for your perseverance there is definitely some sort of loss here i'm just i, I got to be honest with you i do there's some sort of loss and it could be shocking this could be something that you don't see coming because this is the unseen. The unseen. You don't see it coming. Um, Page of Cups. This is not good news. It's not going to, it's going to, there could be some tears. There could be some sadness. Page of Cups reversed. You may be, you're probably going to become emotionally unavailable this month. I'm, I, I, you know, I don't like to give Taurus a reading like this because I'm Taurus. I don't like to hear this kind of shit any more than you do. So, just saying. I feel like your approach is to look at this as a time of inspiration. Look at this as a time of hope. Look, this is the star card. This, this is an opportunity to go after something brighter. There's a bright opportunity waiting for you. It's time for you to follow your dreams. Whatever loss this is, you know, I feel as though this is going to give you an opportunity to broaden your horizons and go to a better place. Okay, this is a time of healing. It's a time of renewal. It's, it's it's time to, you know, create whatever it is that you want. Go after your dreams. That's your approach position. I think there's some bitterness. There's some sadness. There's some heartache. There's some pain that you need to heal from that you have not helped. You have not healed from yet. And I feel like you maybe you've been burying it. You've been burying those true feelings in your work, in your job. But I feel like this loss is is too big to to hide. And I feel like you're about to deal with it. I think that you are about to deal with it. So, um, high priestess, you don't see it coming. This is this is unpredictable. I feel like you may have been unaware, you may have, you may have been unaware, you may have went through a repression, a loss of self, and you absolutely need to go within and go and heal. This is a month of healing. It is. I feel like you are not going to be emotionally available for any type of relationship. You may get to bring closure to, or to some sort of hurtful situation, and that is going to, you are going to need time. Right now, your life is changing. An old cycle is completing. The Wheel of Fortune is under. That's a karmic cycle. A karmic cycle is completing with somebody that really broke your heart. And that is what I got. Good luck. You want to see what's on the bottom? Seven of Cups, reverse. This is making that decision. The decision is being made, like I said. A decision is me being made to close this chapter with that Wheel of Fortune, to close this cycle and move in a different direction. And I feel like you get this bright opportunity that basically gets handed to you. It's like you decide to close this chapter. You decide to let this situation die. You know, you decide to forgive, you decide to end it, allow it, accept it, and, you know, then there's this new opportunity that comes in. I mean, I feel like this is a definitely an emotional month for you. There's some sort of significant loss here. There is. There is. I'm not sure 
what it is, but um, we have the Empress, and the, I mean, the Empress reversed. There's a loss here, and I think this loss is going to really um, move you in a new direction. You may even move. You may even end up moving. You don't see it coming. You don't see it coming. This could happen right around the um, full moon. So the full moon, I don't know when the full moon is in September, but it could happen right around the full moon. And I feel like, you know, you're going to need time alone. And I'm just being honest with you. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I don't want to hear this message any more than you do. Good luck.